I was just telling him though. Uh, Sponsored by Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm with Diddy. What's up? <laughs> Endorsements, right? I'm here for you whenever you need me. Uh, uh, we, don't, we don't need no chaser. It's great. Uh, that nigga tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take one more for the road and call. I him. mean, uh, <laughs> Lord be with us. <laughs> If this nigga start wilding, y'all know why this nigga drunk. <laughs> and y'all witnessed it this time. Well, just make sure you catch it on camera when we go outside. I'm going to get my speed up. What's up? <laughs> Roll with this shit. <laughs> 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 oh, hey, I fuck with it, though. Hey, so we back. Hey, so this is your boy, Mr. Handcrafted. And welcome to the I Don't Know Shit podcast. Uh, so today we got an episode, we got a couple, uh, I guess we got, I guess we got Aaron back, four. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, nigga, he been gone a little bit, man, what's up, what happened? Trying to go to Jamaica, <laughs> what led me? You, what do you mean? They what, they, what led me? I was trying to get out of the country, and they told me. Oh, uh, this nigga, oh, so this nigga was saying he was trying to like, uh, I think he was trying to skip his bail. Mm-hmm. He was trying to get up out of here. <laughs> There you go. I didn't know he was a nigga nigga like that. Mm-hmm. Only on the weekend. <laughs> Saturday, Sunday. See, you gotta hang up that. <laughs> I hung up my scale. I hung up that. That's I'm done. I'm square. I'm straight, legit. You done? The paperwork is. You gotta spin the block one more time. Nah, nigga, I'm good, bro. Uh, uh-uh, uh, cause that shit is is different. It's different, bro. Nah, bro. Yeah. You, you just can't spin the block and then pop out that car, nigga. Hey, hey I don't even know. You might I get stuck around the block. I've done retired. I've done retired. Nigga, fuck that. You yeah, might gonna get me. burn rubber and shit. Your shit melting off. Fuck that. I'm done. Nope. I hung that shit up, bro. I'm square. I'm like, no, not, not one more time. No, 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 no. no. You get like a, it's that shit's different, bro. You get like a, uh, like a. Uh, you still look in your rear view everywhere you go. Everywhere, everywhere. That's a habit. That's a real bad habit. I'm hella paranoid. There's like a little system when we come in the house. Before she come in the house, she gotta stop. If I'm not there, she gotta stop and make turn around and make sure like so no one like follow Watch her or something day, like day. that. Right, yeah. right. Like turn the car around. No, like I'm like saying, like, as, as that, she coming right. in the house, right, right. If when she come in, she just can't come in and just shut the door. She right. has to turn around, well, yeah, and look she, and make sure ain't nobody out of your surroundings. Park, and, like, and, like, park, park here all week. Mm-hmm. and then, like, uh, when we drive in traffic, if we ever like car to car, she has to always be in front of me. So if like something happened, like if she get in an accident, shit, phone die or something, she can't like I don't not see her. Right. So I'm all like I yeah, just I, like I still I, I I I still live like that. Right. But I'm it's done. just habits. It's, it's done. habits, man. Old habits die hard. Right. Sometimes I, I never go. Paranoid as shit. I used to have this what the fuck you looking at, nigga? <laughs> you staring at me for way too long, bro. But it's like like a bitch could have just died Nick was killed something. You know what I mean? <laughs> You gotta go that shit cold turkey, man. I'm done. But anyway, we back to this shit, man. Welcome back. I hope you're back for a minute. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Life do happen sometimes. Now everything good. Yeah. This all right. So this nigga a couple podcasts ago was just like, yeah, bro. I had a baby. Y'all niggas knew that. No, we actually didn't. Like, what what are you talking about? Who the fuck did you tell that shit to? Like. That was no, the first announcement. Yeah, there was no baby shower. There was no like, like. I felt like I said it all well. I ain't want to. Nah. I felt like I told everybody. All right, bro. You can watch the episodes. I, I don't remember him ever saying anything about anything. I probably did. That was gonna be feeling like I be telling everybody everything. Anyway, bro. Welcome back, bro. Appreciate you being back. Hopefully, we can do some shit with this shit sometime, man. We really got some shit flowing now. Uh, we got a guest. The one and only. Roger, is it Villanueva? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey. 
<laughs> we did start, uh, at that time, we did start, like, a little applause. applause. <laughs> so you'll hear, like, like a live clap, yeah. like a live clap in the back. Yeah, yeah okay, sure, like, okay. you'll, you'll hear, like, a live clap and shit like that when you look at hey, it. Hey, the improv was nice, though. Hey, the improv was nice, though. Gotta make sure you're welcome. Right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, I was gonna get, like, you, like, a little intro. I told you about this already, but fucking, so, like, uh... There's not too many people that I like know know you at work, so I thought I was gonna go to right and yeah. get, get him to like because I feel like you guys had like a little connection or not a connection but like uh, no homo he he said he refers to you or people say they refer to you as your work wife or some shit like that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Hell, hey, you learn something new every day. I'm gonna text that. Well, you know I'm gonna text his ass right now, right? <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> Did you get that yeah. picture of his face? He's, he's, uh, I can't even breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> he's catching the text right now. He pulled that phone out fast, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Work life, huh? Oh. Two question marks, baby. What are you talking about? <laughs> I just texted his ass. Oh, <laughs> shit. All right. All right. Bro. He said, I like how you threw the no homo at first because that makes everything else just disappear. <laughs> we're good. We're pause. good. We don't pause. Yes. Thank you. Then we can resume, <laughs> sir. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fucking <laughs> funny, I'm bro. Your saying. face. You yeah. was like, I'm, you have never heard that in your life. Never. <laughs> I couldn't wait to see him at work, so I had to text the man. Like, what? what? Bro, when you said that, you just kind of cut me off. Like, oh, 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 I want to see the clap oh, back on my face. Oh, my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, bro. It's all up. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to make it weird like that, bro. I didn't even mean it like that. But, like, he was like, and he was like in the defense. I'm the I'm the bitch because I got the tits. That's, oh. the, that's what he said. Hey, hey, he owned up to it. He owned up to it. So, hey, that, so uh, I was like, um, you guys had known each other for I think like seven years or some shit like that. Uh, longer than that because he was working for uh, before. You know what I'm saying? When I still work. Right. Okay. So. Oh, uh, that's not the same. That's not the same company. No, 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 no. no. It's all on it. Oh, hey. Hey. We're straight, though. We're straight. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, that no is funny, though. <laughs> yeah, he worked, he worked for, for a while, uh, you know, before uh, when I was still working. And then when I came on, he got promoted. Right, okay. And then me and him just climbed the ranks through the company at the same time. Like he 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 get promoted, then I get promoted. He get promoted. I oh, so that's okay. That's yeah. kind of dope, bro. Um, and maybe that's why you know there's that that type of relationship with me and him where you know you you can see that there's history there. Absolutely. And that's what probably what prompted you to holler at him. Yeah, absolutely. Which, it's it's all good with me. Shit, so dope. so I, I was just gonna be like, hey, like, uh, tell me some shit like positive, like, cause. I feel like, um, especially with, like, me being, like, new to the whole podcast shit and, like, people being, not have really, been, like, coming to podcasts and stuff, I was, like, trying to make it more welcoming, you know? I wanted to get some, like, uh, have a better introduction than, hey, this is so-and-so and blah, 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 you know what I mean? I wanted to, like, make it more, like, not, prof- I don't know, not necessarily professional, but engaging in a way, you know? Yeah, right, right. And so, like, I was like, send me some positive shit, and I was like, um... Yeah, he called me. Yeah, and he, he I don't know, he's like... For the podcast? He didn't, oh, excuse me, he didn't call me, he started texting me, dude. <laughs> he started texting me, I started getting these text messages, he's like, hey, how long were you in prison? <laughs> oh, and, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, well, I was like, I was like, well, you know, I'm pretty open and honest about that, because my bosses know my history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was just like, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Know, and, 
<laughs> no, like, dude, I mean, I'm saying, like, he just asked you me all this shit, right? Outside, right. I felt like no, it was like a, like, a, like a screen movie. Shit, you know? yeah, you've been watching me for a minute. Now. You know it. <laughs> right. Dude knows what I'm eating and shit, you know? Oh, man. It was weird, too, because I finally, after, like, the second or third question, I was like, what's up with the questions, man? Because they just kept coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, this is kind of weird. This is kind of weird, but hey, fuck it. Yeah, and so <laughs> he made it really awkward, bro. And so I was like, "Man, fuck that! I guess we'll have to like do something else or scratch it or something like that." So next next guest that I have come on or something, if they got like a website, I'm gonna try to actually do some like research, some homework. On you them. know what yeah, I mean? And like kind of all just all the time you have to do homework. You know, but for me, I didn't. I for it was just an idea to like kind of just come and kick it and like talk. You know, so right. like I didn't really like, and I don't see myself as like a podcast guy. I'm just like. Guy doing a podcast. I don't know. So I guess I gotta change that mindset and get like yeah. start taking it a little more serious. But I don't know. The shit was supposed to be different, bro. We were supposed to be in a different room. That's why I didn't have this shit decorated. Going back to what I was saying. I was at this time. Yeah. So I was supposed to have like a you can still do all that. that no, like you can't. You know what I mean? I mean we got I got enough mics for like one more person and we you know what I mean? Like, so I mean, let me know when you want to do it. Make we'll it do it. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Just... I told you I came to kick it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I just came to kick it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm call people and tell them to fly, but it, that's what it is. You trying to? So for me, I don't have those people to just call and slide. Like, excuse me, a lot of people I ask to come call and slide. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a headache usually to like have them like show up on time. Like, nigga. You, nigga, you didn't. for being late. No. He know he's an asshole. No. <laughs> his, son, his son was supposed to come, and his son yeah. also does music. We were supposed to do this whole episode about music. We had to open the motherfucking door, because you were smoking out the fucking... Uh, you oh, see the you contact, see, yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's the contact, all right, bro. Cool. Right. Hey. We all on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go put this down. Nah, look, he, look, you can, like, see the, like, you can see a cloud. Good. Good. <laughs> So you know what's funny is sometimes like I'll like leave my I don't like never mind, I'm not even gonna uh anyway. <laughs> I don't like my house being smoky, so my my house smoke airs out, so yeah, you gotta stop smoking weed in my house, you know? <laughs> Especially not when the people like Mm, they don't smoke weed, it's rude. We're not, we're not. <laughs> I'm just to each their own, you know. Yeah. Nah, that was some fire. Uh, so I had a friend uh, uh, drop off. Have you tried, you tried that green crack? Yeah. Oh, okay. That shit was cool. Um, anyway. Probably why I was I don't know nothing about that. I'm mean, incriminating the shit out of myself. Sorry. All right. This is Mr. Roger Bill in the waiver, bro. Uh, we met. He's the. He's. I try to get an introduction from. You know what I mean? And I'll bleep his name out. If, so I'm. It's not all weird, but like. I don't know. He kind of made it awkward. And I was just trying to get like uh, a better introduction to make people feel more welcome. And that was the idea about it. It wasn't supposed to be like some weird like interrogation or some shit like that. So sorry for that awkward moment. And then. No, that shit was funny. <laughs> yeah, that shit was funny to me personally. I I personally have brought you on because we you, you do music and you also I feel like have had a journey through life that can be like motivational to people, especially putting a lot on my shoulders. Yeah, I'm putting you out there right now a little bit, but it's on a positive thing though. Uh, I feel like. Uh, I feel like as, as people grow up, I feel like we kind of like, uh, depending on how you grow up, you kind of like get lost in the sauce a little bit. We were talking about that a little bit earlier. Never. <laughs> yeah. Talking about spinning the block and a little bit, you know? Yeah. And sometimes like, I feel like, uh, see my halo. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like uh, sometimes like going from one place to another, I feel like uh, it can be inspirational to get somebody like a little bit of uh, like damn as possible, you 
Right. And so, like, the idea behind, like, the, the felonies or him asking you, like, about your jail, I was, like, something positive. I was, like, well, <clears throat> didn't he have, like, a bunch of felonies and shit? And, like, he has, like, a job. And, like, he was, like, uh, no, I said, tell him something. Tell me something positive about Roger. He was, like, he has about 20 felonies. <laughs> No, he are ten felonies, and he has about like twenty kids. And I was like, "Oh my!" God. <laughs> I said, I, I, "That's I, a hell of an introduction, yeah, yeah. Right, <laughs> right?" I was like, "Damn!" I was like, "I was like, uh, I was like, I know he has five kids of his own, and, but yeah. he has like ten yeah. or ten <laughs> seven step kids on top of the five of them. Right. So that's right. So that's yeah. twelve kids. And so, like, I felt like yeah. for, to, for him. For, <laughs> He's like a skeleton. Dog. <laughs> I didn't. So I was trying to turn it into a positive, and I was just like, "Hey, twenty <laughs> felonies, ten kids." <laughs> I was like, that's skeletons. And I was like, I was like, if he did have twenty felonies, he's now the manager of this warehouse. So I mean, right. that's like that okay accounts for something. You know what I mean? Like, who gives a fuck? I'm you know what I mean? The text dude, I ain't like. <laughs> and so <laughs> you know me though. <laughs> so I, I don't know I just felt like uh, those things even though he was trying to like make it a bad thing I was like yeah, or somebody funny. like there's, there's men out there that like I feel like uh, uh, have a hard time taking care of their responsibilities and you taking on like you know what I mean like, you, know what you know what I mean so I just thought that was like that's dope you know what I mean and uh, also for the felonies, like I said, you if you did have 20, you now, you're not a manager of the warehouse where I work at. So, I mean, obviously, you just started somewhere, and you somewhere spun the block, stopped, jumped out that motherfucker, and started walking. So, I feel like that's a good thing, you know? So, I uh, do you want to talk a little bit about that? And, like, what your journey was and how you even maybe got to Alpine and the life before that. Yeah. It had a lot of spotlights on. It is. <laughs> Time for you to roll. That's crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. Man, uh, you know, my pops, piece of shit, alcohol, drug addict, you know what I'm saying? Beat on my mom and shit. Uh, you know, earliest memory I got of him was uh, him beating on my mom in the hallway. Jumped on his shoulders and shit. He threw me to the floor, called me a bat. I was like five, six years old. You know what I'm saying? Like that's really after that. Like my mom left him and shit. She took off. She was you know, mom and dad. Yeah. You know, uh, <clears throat> shit. I went, got locked up at 15, dropped out of school, kicked out of school, all sorts of shit, bro. Bad shit. Bro, bro when you got locked up at 15, was it like, was it like the shit you seen in like? Yeah, 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 or lock no. <laughs> no, because you know what I mean. And you know, what, what time? Sorry, sorry to cut you off, but what, what time? Are you, like, what year was that? Like, paint, paint, paint. Ninety-five. Nin- nigga, I was born in ninety-two. <laughs> you was born in ninety-one. I was up to bad 92. shit, man. Ninety-two. <laughs> <laughs> so you were born in ninety-two. Mm-hmm. So by the time I was oh, three, man. nigga, you was uh, going to your first bed. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That's when I told my kids too. I was like, you should think about this. You That's know, crazy. when Pinoy was kind of steering on the wrong path when he was growing up, I was like, man, you really want to think about this. You don't want to be like me. You know. But yeah, that was fifteen, man. And of course, you know, the same at the JDH and shit. Sat down there until I did trial, all that. Measure 11, 95. Oh, damn. That's when that started. Yeah. Five years, uh, 10 months. Bro, bro. Mandatory. Yes. When I first got locked up, dude, I was 15, right? I had three Measure 11s, Class A felony, two Class C misdemeanors. I was looking at 39 and a half years in trial at 15. Bro. And they're like, Measure 11, mandatory minimum. We can hit you for every one of these motherfuckers, which was bullshit because they can't. You know what I'm saying? They can't. They can they, if you got three assaults, they're only going to hit you with one. That's all they need to hit you with is one. You know what I'm if saying? If they're a dickhead, they can. They technically can, but the judge always ends up running them concurrent. Yeah, you know yes, what I'm saying? Absolutely. If you have X amount of charges under the same class right. and same level, they run them together. I depended, I feel like depending on what state they in that charge. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just talking about Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. When they drop measure 11, bro, it made that motherfuckers' was... head spin. You bro! Know what I'm that was real life shit. 
lot of the homies got locked up that year. You know, uh, I just I'd gotten locked up for a gun charge and shit, uh, and I was still a juvenile. That wasn't a that wasn't a uh, a measure eleven offense. It wasn't a violent person to person crime, right? Right, absolutely. So they locked me up. I was in JDH, gonna do my little fifteen days, get a, a, a court appointed a PO right. and shit, you know, and be on my way. Eight, so I, I go down, locked up for fifteen days. I get out. And then eight days after that, I went back, which was April 8th. And it was, uh, or excuse me, April 4th. It was four days after Measure 11 went into effect in the state of Oregon. Jesus. Right. And they stacked them, dude. They, I had three assaults, uh, assault twos, man. The shit was insane. The bird, 20 years suspended. By the time I got done, after a year of sitting in JDH for uh, trial and all that shit, bro, it was 39 and a half years. I ended up with seven and a half. That's crazy. <clears throat> Which, you know, they sent me up uh, up to McLaren. I did a year in McLaren, then I went up to OSCI, went mm-hmm. up to OSP from there. I've been to Mill Creek, Santa Ann, I mean, you name it around this state, I've been there. Jesus. Right. As a kid. Really, as a kid. Those were high school days. I should have been in high school fucking up somewhere. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Instead of sitting right. behind bars with right. grown up right. rapists and murderers <laughs> and shit. You know I'm not I mean? trying to laugh, but. Right. I That's laugh. real shit. I, <laughs> what, I, I, in awkward situations, bro, serious shit, I start to laugh, man. Right. Like, right. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. For after, after, I feel like sometimes everybody have to, has their, like, way to cope with fucked up shit. Yeah. And for me, I, I try to find humor in fucked up shit, you know? Yeah. I, I, you see That's me, dude. I laugh right. all the fucking time. Yeah. I have to laugh. If I didn't laugh, bro, I'd freak out with this shit in my brain. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sometimes I, like, even see some shit yeah. that, like, even it probably shouldn't be funny. Right. Bro, hey, you... <laughs> we have, those, mo- we have yeah. those moments at work, sir. Bro. Don't lie. Bro, I, I can't... catch that really look like... <laughs> <laughs> like this is some straight HR shit, bro. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, but like I don't know, man. I don't know. But um, I just thought it was dope. And uh, what is uh after going to McKim- after going through that uh, that battle, whatever? I didn't that like. Did you ever go back to high school? Did you go to college? No, I got out. Uh, I did three and a half out of seven and a half. You okay. know what I'm saying? Uh, when I got out, I was almost 19. Okay. And shit, it was like, damn, I got a whole lot of life to catch up on. Yeah. You know, I won't even tell you. So <laughs> we'll leave that part out. No, but, I feel like, you absolutely. know. But I also had my PO and shit. I mean, right when I got out, my PO, damn. Yeah, she was like, uh, I moved out to move to my mom's. They 86 to me from Multnomah County. My, my uh, uh, parole board, they would not let me move to Multnomah County anywhere, period. The other place I had was my mom's, which was in fucking Scapoose in Bumblefuck, Egypt. So, I mean, I had no choice, but I had to get the job. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't smoke no weed. All I wanted to do was smoke weed. All I did was a lot of drinking, bro. A lot of drinking. See, I tried to This might sound stupid, but there was like a certain time where I like, tried to get me drinking. I wanted to stop smoking a while ago. For some reason, it's like, I, like, I don't know, I just can't keep going. I'll get to a point where it'll just like feel like gross. Yeah, I'll but it's different if you look at it another 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying, I had, a, at the end of the prison shit, I had, and doing my time, I had a 20-year suspended sentence hanging over there. So I had to get through the 90-day transition, uh, excuse me, transitional leave and shit. I had to fucking stay out of trouble for all that time. Then I had to get through the three years of parole. Not probation, yeah. parole. Uh, you know what I mean? Because you'll go back and you'll have to do that. Go back and I'll go do my other the other four years plus my 20 years for my suspension. Jesus. You know what All I'm right. saying? It was a heavy set, man. It was just like sitting. The the fact, you know, the only reason why I got out after three and a half is because I went and did this fucking uh, right. uh, boot camp program. You know what I'm saying? Out at the coast and shit. How was that? Oh, my God. Bro, it's like being in the military, being in prison. I, and literally, you know what I'm saying? We sat in locked, uh, locked dorms and shit was our was our sleeping area. And other than that, if we, we weren't in there, unless we were sleeping, period. You know, <clears throat> running through the damn woods and rain upward and shit. Oh, wow. Bro, yelling and shit. That's L- literally just like mili- like you watch a damn uh, uh, military like major movie. major pain? Yeah, dude. Come on, <laughs> tub it, tub it. <laughs> <laughs> But it's more like, uh, 
you seen Full Metal Jacket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I yeah, hate yeah. it's more like that minus yeah. the motherfuckers aren't gonna blow your face off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That shit is crazy. Yeah, but I mean, you know, they they were assholes like that because they knew damn well if you fucked up, you went back to the pen, you did the rest of your time. Uh, there was there was no other, you know, what I'm saying yeah. option. <clears throat> so I did the program. It's a six month program. Uh, I got out, graduated, got out, you know, was staying at my mom's and shit, and fucking uh, excuse me, rewinding that just a little bit. So I got out. I was out for nine days. I went back because. Uh, this was before I was actually 86 for my mother camp. Because I, I had to do the boot camp program twice. Yeah. So I was out. I was out for, I always forget that I was out for just a minute. So I was out for nine days. I went back on fucking uh, TV because one of my buddies found out that I was out. Came by, drunk as shit. You know what I'm saying? Peeling out of my driveway and shit. Halfway house. Done. So that's why when I went back, uh, I sat. Shit, like six months. Then they let me go back and do the program again. I did the last two months of one of their sets. And uh, then I got out, and that's when I, they 86 me from Old Normal County. I had to move to Scappoose. That's crazy. And it's like life had a change, period, right then and there. Like, that was it. That was the turning point right there. Because I easily, moving back to the town, could have been back in the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. But because he wanted to be a drunken idiot, I mean, it's kind of he was kind of a guardian angel in a sense, because... I probably would have fucked up again and just went back and did a whole, did the whole shit. That's good. Yeah. That's that, it's funny how like guardian angels and shit comes up. Like, yeah. Strange forms. Yeah. Prison was a guardian angel. I never would have made it this far. I never would have. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have stayed alive this far to do any of the shit that I do now. That's dope. You know, some Prison people save my life. It's some people talk. I feel like get caught up in that and let that mold them to who it is. Or yeah. It they makes are. that's that's why I'm open and honest with it. I'll, shit. Always gets like all red faced and shit when I talk about it at work. Hey, and if you're listening, this is for you. Yeah. <laughs> he gets all pink in the face and shit. And he's like, Roger, don't talk about prison. <laughs> but man, it's what, it's, that's that's what makes me who the fuck I am today. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You know, I'm very open and honest with, with shit. Really, anything about my life. I don't talk about my music because that's really nobody else's business unless I fuck with you. Know? Absolutely. Uh, about music. So, uh, you started to do. Uh, how long? How long have you been doing music? Since I was fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. That's we said, uh, "Hey, I gotta talk about it." <laughs> well, I'm so old. I'm so old. You realize that? Yeah, forty-two. Yeah, so that's forty-two. So that makes you what? Uh, how? Old? Thirteen. Thirteen years. Yeah, thirteen years old. Damn. <laughs> See, thank you for making me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> And he about the same for him too, because his, yeah. his birthday, his birthday is January too, I believe. Nineties yeah. babies, that's crazy, man. Nineties yeah. babies, we a different breed. Hey, no, 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 no. Two, it's two thousand babies. Is a that's a that's that's a mess. That's a mess, man. But man, but bro, I'm so old. Yeah, we used to record on a tape deck that had an audio in for a mic. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> we, me and my cousin Kai, rest in peace, he's the one I make most of my videos and shit about. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It was me and him that started that shit at 15. Okay. And I had a little, remember the the uh, little portable stereos that had the CD player and the and tape the deck? Tape. Yeah. So I take CDs and shit, right? <laughs> and I put the CDs in the top and I record the CD, yeah. right? And then I just, I get at least four seconds, four seconds, four seconds, and I just pause, record, pause, record, keep rewinding the CD. And that's how I made my beats. Real shit. And then we'd play them, right? We'd play them off the one side of the tape deck and shit. And then we'd have the mic hanging from the ceiling fan. And we just spit to the mic yeah, right crazy. there. You know what I'm saying? That's old school. That's like old some old shit. school hustle hey, and flow type shit. Old as shit, bro. Old as shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's why I said I had to speak on that piece real quick. That's, that's, that's how fucking old I am. That's crazy. That's like, <laughs> like pantyhose, like spit catcher type shit. Man. I had one of those with the wire coat hanger, dude. That was my popper That's stopper with a pair of pantyhose. Buddy, Damn bro. right. Damn Holy right. Shit, bro. <laughs> Damn right. Hey, wait till I, I told you about the video footage I'm about to bring out. It's going to have video recordings of all that shit. That's so, yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, made you, uh, what made you get into music? Shit, man. 
I don't know, my mom, she, uh, she used to do a lot of, uh, uh, she played country, you know what I'm saying? And I grew up with my mom, you know, so I really kind of had a discontent for country music. <laughs> and, uh, hey, I do, I do now that I'm, the fan, can you turn it off? Yeah. I do now that I'm old and grown, you know what I mean? I respect that I have a handful of country songs that I like actually at my wedding. Me and my wife, uh, one of our songs was a country song. So, yeah. You know. I, I went to um, uh, Town Point. I went to uh, Town Court. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, out there. Is, so, Portland and Oregon itself, I think it's only 14% black or some shit like that. Portland? I think so. Oregon. No, I meant oh, maybe Oregon. Yeah, I was you would have to say it would have to be Oregon. Uh, no, Oregon. Okay, Oregon, 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 Oregon. But even in Portland, we're, we're, we're like a super small percentage. It's not that. Believe it or not, there's not that. <laughs> there's not that many black people in Portland. It's a very, very small yeah. percentage. And so, like, even at Astoria, uh, there's not. So when hanging out with people, you listen to country songs and shit like that. And it was kind of dope because some of them were like. Play their music, or yeah. So I had some friends that were Caucasian. The way I was saying it, sound like some of them. You know what I mean? I was what like, do you oh, mean, you yeah. people? <laughs> <laughs> so I was hanging out with some friends that happened to be Caucasian. You know, yeah. and so like they was listening to um, uh, some country music or whatever, and it was kind of funny because it was like some of them like it's like regular. They talking about smoking weed, fucking bitches, uh, regular like. Shit, you know what I mean? That you hear like a hip hop song, but it's just it's like a, it's just a d- different twist to it. And I was like, I, I think where I, was this? You've never heard, bro? No, bro, no? no. I'm old, man. You gotta remember, I'm old. Oh no, bro. There's some dope like country shit that yeah. talks about fucking bitches and, <laughs> and smoking <laughs> weed and, and smoking like weed. drinking, bro. Like kicking it. it on the four wheeler. Oh my, <laughs> man. oh everything, <laughs> nigga. Butt, butt, on the tractor and shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think that, like fuck, I, I even think there's some shit like called country trap or some man, shit like that. Make, man, look, see, I'm telling you, my again, I probably so, get some shit called country trap. And they're like some fucking, <laughs> them country boys shit. go hard, bro. <laughs> never, <laughs> ever, ever, mark my words, I ain't never heard none of that shit. <laughs> bro, I, I'm telling you. Well, maybe I'm, It ain't described how we do it. No, but it's like. Okay, but it's okay, but still. And, and this ain't this ain't like that funny ass weird dude that uh, no Yankee, not no Yankee, weird out weird out no <laughs> weird out Yanka bitch I'll tell you there's some like country songs and even like oh, rock God. songs and shit like that them shits go hard bro like oh man I'm in shock right now they be, this is they like they be uh, doing the same thing it's just bro. a different for, you know a different formula I, I know you I feel you though as far as like majority of it I say eight percent I'm not right 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 Bro, this is the shit I listen to. The country music that I listen to is is like when you guys were like three. <laughs> no lie. Like Garth no Brooks. No lie. Like yeah, like you know uh uh shit, man. Tim McGraw. No. You know, is that too new? Garth Brooks. I just no, do some random. Oh, that's an old ass dude. Or too. like Brooks and the I just pulled one out of my ass, <laughs> nigga. I was like, that sounds right. What the hell? Like I'm talking about, like like Jewel and shit like oh, yeah. that. She's more like pop or whatever. Jewel's She's not really country. country. Yeah. But like, uh, what the hell is the uh, uh, Faith? Uh, Faith Hill. Faith Hill. And Tim McGraw. Is that a country chick? Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's it's Tim, Tim McGraw's, McGraw's wife. wife. That's yeah. right. That's I thought right. it was right. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you remember that long. <laughs> but I don't even. Okay, who the uh, uh, sings that shit? The, the song we had at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> the song we had at the wedding was uh, Allison Krauss, Say Nothing at All. That's country. See, it's probably yeah. older than you guys, too. She's older. She's 30. Never mind. I ain't going to put on the spot. She's 24. No. Hey. No, wait. Does that make me weird? Yes. Oh, so is she. I'm 31. There you go. Hey, my wife's older than me. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, shit. okay. I, I just don't want to, I, I thought you're never supposed to say like a woman's age. And so no, go. you're never supposed to ask a woman's age. Where the fuck did that come from? That's some old know. time shit. Now it's okay. Baby. Mom, I'm like, even me, like, why are you, I'm asking your It was like man. disrespectful. 
Baby, do you know, know where that came from? I have no idea. I don't care. Half the time I forget. But <laughs> <laughs> just like you. <laughs> she talking about how old is you? No, how old is you? Right, right. What's up with it? Hey, because you know, we also come from the era where you also had to start IDing everybody before you went and hollered at them. I'll tell you. Shit. How old is you? Right. Like I need and to know. Twenty one, they got surgery, doc. Mm-hmm. Right. How yeah. old is you? Right. Hey, hey, some of the bitches with the surgery be bad, dog. How old is you? What kind of surgery are we talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about like they got like where it's like trans fat transfers, not like necessarily oh. like silicone. So they got it now, so where they'll like take fat from one part of their body and put it in their titties. Yeah, like, turn them motherfuckers off, off, bro. Shit. Okay, I'm hot. I'm, I'm, I'm hopping around here. You feel me? They trying to, they trying to you know, know that's your baby mom, nigga. Where my, where's my car? Where's your dick? Where's your dick? Where's your dick? Bring your black ass home, man. Well, oh, I'll be in an hour. That's the case. I'll be in an hour. But really, bro, I feel like you should be like doing this. He does music, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how'd you get into music? Tell your little, tell, tell, introduce yourself to him. A little bit of history about form, Mr. Dollar Sign. Like, what, what made you get started? I've been doing music since I came out the womb. Right. <laughs> Shut your ass up, bro. That's how I feel, because it's like a time warp. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Oh, bless with this. That's what I'm saying. I don't see, I don't do music, so I don't know nothing about that, like, I feel like sometimes, like, you hear a dope beat, and you know you feel it or something like that, you'll throw, like, a, a one-line punchline, like, oh, that was hard. Like, I remember, I, I, I remember when I first started, like, uh, like, I, I, like, I always said, like, I wanted to just pay for it or whatever, and, like, I made this, like, uh, line, or this, uh, fake Facebook post, and, uh, I said some shit, like, uh, I said, like, I wanted to be the Dame Dash of this shit, but I guess I'd be the Holy Trinity because a lot of people don't know, but, like, I mean, a lot of people know. Like, who the fuck am I? But the Rockefeller, it was Dame Dash, mm-hmm. uh, Jay-Z, and Big. You telling me that's not old-time shit? No, that's hella old. Okay. So, okay. like, for me, I didn't want to have to be all three. I didn't want to be the business guy, the guy that put up the money, and the guy in front of the camera. But I was like, nigga, fuck it. Nobody fucking with a nigga, I'll be all three. So right. it was like, I wanted to be the Dane Dash of the shit, nigga, right. but I'll be the Holy Trinity. Right. I thought that was one of the hottest punchlines I've heard. I was like, oh, nigga, I can do this shit. Are you, you going to start spinning? <laughs> I might, nigga. That's fire, though, to me. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, but I, I, I'm gonna give you a foul. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but nigga, take that. I, I ain't get no lights on that shit, nigga. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't feel like I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't say it right, or I don't. Like I said, I don't do music. Like I don't know. But like for me, like I don't feel like we in the era of punchlines. What do y'all think? Y'all niggas do music. What do y'all think? What do y'all feel like it? No, there's definitely punchlines. It's just different, it's, huh? It's different genres yeah. now. Yeah. There's only two genres. Our guy, by our age, by the time we started really listening to music, it's three genres. Pop, hip-hop. Yeah. 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 Did you say neo? <laughs> Neil, is it what is what is that? Oh, I thought you was talking about the, the, uh, the singer, singer Neil. I was like, damn, yeah, that's a whole that, genre that, now. What happened? Right, that <laughs> but then yeah, it's a whole genre now. Yeah, straight, a straight formula. Yeah, straight, straight formula. That's. I mean, you can cross over whenever you want to. Now, I remember. I remember another. Jill Scott. Jill Scott is fire, bro. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So there's like three real giant genres, but then it just spins off of those genres. Okay. That makes sense. I can see that. But didn't didn't rock and roll start it all? I mean that's what they that's what they say. I feel like oh, no. it all. I mean no yeah. Possible. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, right. yeah. We got drums and shit. Right. No, but it was like juke joint shit. They had like, sticks of wood and uh, shit like that. Uh, yeah, out yeah, wood and shit, shit like that. <laughs> Tim like, can type shit. shit. Right. Yeah, this country, country music started it off. Now, whether you want to say it's blues or country, that's between old people to decide. I'm not going to 
Hey, that's older than me too, so don't ask. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys feel about like the stage of hip hop and like where it is today? Like, at, so for you being for you being uh, thirteen years difference, like your hip hop, what you listen to was that like uh, was that like Cameron? Hell no, I didn't listen to hip hop. Oh, I still, on Cam. hey man, he hating on no, Cam. No, no disrespect to Cameron, you know what he I mean? Let's, on Cam. hey, but at the same time, like. Uh, my Who's generation, around that? Yeah. Hey, he had his my, colors out when you there. watch my shit, you know what I'm saying? Or you listen to any of my old shit, especially, you know what I mean? Even now, uh, my influence comes from the 90s rap era. You know what I'm saying? Like the real gangster rap. Which era. one up is 90s? I'm saying I mean, like, is that I'm real? saying like you 916. Like, you know you what I'm saying? That's like, what I vibe with still. That's what I still vibe with is that whole uh, 916. Is, is it a real thing between like 96 and 95? Like you said, what? Like ninety six and ninety five, people were like hip hop heads. Like before ninety five, was kind of still like thuggish, rubbish, or whatever. Yeah, after like Pop died, I guess or Big died or whatever. Ninety six, like music kind of like. Yeah, mus- music fig- fizzled out at that point. Like, so is it like is it like still is it two different nineties music we talking about? See, I don't, really still. Like I mean, I would, I, I, you know, I would, I would say that's a real hard decision to say, really, personally, because. You know, even after Pac and Big died and shit, you know, that shit was still vibing through the streets for years and years and years. Absolutely. That you know, but at the fine. same time, it did, everything did kind of just stop. Like, time just stopped. Well, Absolutely. Like, the flow of music. I, at that time, I wasn't li- allowed to listen to that type of music. Either. I, I, there, I was on. Like, there was no way I was listening. I was listening to, like, T-Bone, and Ty Tribute, Kurt Franklin, Mary Mary. Or Nina Bidens. I, I don't probably uh, say that name. Nice. Barry White. Mm-hmm. Right, see. I uh, was listening to uh, D.B. King. See, yeah, nah, that was probably like your grandma. That's house. old shit, man. Oh, my grandma. That's yeah, old my, shit. My, my house, yeah. That's like before my time shit. Absolutely. You know, that shit still slap. I used to listen to shit on vinyl. <laughs> but, so you don't, you don't listen to none of that shit? Like old school, uh... Like an old school, like Earth, Wind, and Fire track or some shit like Not that? Not really anymore. I mean, you know, uh, when I'm at home and shit, I'll play the little YouTube, or not YouTube, uh, uh, Pandora. I got a file for the wife, you know, for the slow music and shit, for the R&B. But it's, again, that's 90s R&B. She's old like me. It's the same shit. That's what she likes to buy. She don't listen to, you know, I won't even say she don't listen to the new shit, because she listens to the new shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to the new shit. You know, I fuck with very few... New rappers, even the rappers I still fuck with, is still the same old nine one six crew. You know what I'm saying? What is that? What is nine one six? Lynch, X rated. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Sebo, oh, oh, the OGs, okay. bro. Exactly. That, that yeah, point. the whole okay, West okay, Coast, okay. that whole West Coast vibe, and, yeah. and that's what I mean by like my music is completely bottom line up to straight West Coast. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't float into the different genres that are around right now. Like the newest, the newest motherfuckers that I even play with, gangster rap, gangster rap, bro. And I still listen to it today. That is not hip hop. No, I didn't. That's why I said I don't listen to it. And that's why when he asked, and that's why when the man asked, he said, "What kind of hip hop did you?" I didn't listen to hip hop. I get. I know what I'm saying. It's still hip hop because people they still was putting their work. Yeah, Yeah. I just didn't listen to that type of shit. I literally was on that gangster movie. Yeah, but it was gangster. That's gangster. That's gangster hip hop. That's, yeah. yeah. That's not like a Ja Rule. Every time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I don't yeah. no hate to Ja Rule, but I ain't yeah, fuck with Ja Rule either. That nigga like platinum, or you went platinum. Like, I ain't hating on him. Get his money, get his money, you know? Even though 50 did a bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> hey, so like, uh, last time we did like a hip hop thing, we did like a little icebreaker, wake everybody up, and we like wanted to do like a, a this or that type shit, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna shout out like a couple like uh, hip hop music groups or artists, and I want you to say like which one you would pick out of the two. Okay, cool. Uh, so what if I don't know them? <laughs> Remember, I'm old. <laughs> I think I think you I think you know these okay. ones. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like I like looking around and seeing. That's why I was telling you, man. After I viewed a couple of them and shit, I like, hit you up. Yeah, I was like, hey, man, see that shit. Keep doing your thing. Just keep doing. It. And then I come in, I see this. I'm like. Okay, all right, all right. I'm proud of it, bro. This is real life. It's like you come to my pad and shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You see my studio and shit. Now it's like, okay, 
This motherfucker's not kidding. It was, it, was, it, was like, it was like a dream. It was literally like being able to have a dream. Are we recording? Yep. All right. Being able to have like a dream, I feel like, is like one thing. But to like be able to execute that shit. Right, right. And like actually see it come to life. Right. It's like, it's a whole nother thing, man. All the blood, and sweat, and tears just to get the money to do it. Bro, you know what I'm... Like, I legit, like, there was a point in time where, where I, when I was putting this together, when I first started doing all my business stuff, uh, after paying my bills, buying all the stuff that I was needing, because I, I pieced this out, I didn't have yeah, the money to Of course. <laughs> like, unless you're still hitting the board. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm out. I'm out. I'm I'm saying. Saying. Unless you still been in them corners. You know? No, I'm done. I'm, done. I'm definitely done, sir. I hung my skill up a long time ago. <laughs> Say they seen you out there last week. Oh, uh, you hey. lying, mom. Hey. Mama ain't lying. <laughs> hey, what hey. they're lying. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was thinking that this one, uh, there's an episode, uh, there's a, um, a scene in lo- Lottery Ticket where, where Bow Wow come and get locked up for some, supposedly selling dope. Oh, no. Oh, man. Hey, 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 mama yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, mama ain't lying. <laughs> that's, 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 that's where that came from. Sorry. But, um, <laughs> Uh, when I first, uh, there was that's not a copyright statement, is it? <laughs> I hope not, God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you got me nervous. What is that? Yeah, absolutely. I hate you. It's the wrong movie, that's why. So you're good. Is it? Yeah. We're not gonna say the movie because then it's really copyrighted. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I like the thing. Oh. Was it a Medea movie? Yes. Oh, okay. Are they gonna lie to you when he got locked up? Nah, I don't think that, it's a up. different. Yeah. It's a different movie. She right. With Bow Wow though. It's with, with Bow Wow. It's, oh, it's, it's the fa- it's it's the, the, yeah. But nah, I, I, lo- that I shit love her, bro. <laughs> that shit happened to like a lot of the tickets. Something similar. He only got locked up in Lolly. Did he get no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. No, he didn't. Nah. Cause, cause he just wanted to fight that guy. The yeah. guy who's going to fight him for the lottery ticket. Right. Yeah, his right. His sister. Right. His sister, his oh, sister, his sister his husband. Movie. Okay, we is talking about the same movie. With the AD. Hey, 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 hey the best shit is everybody keep pulling it back. Hey, <laughs> yeah. okay, hey, you know that one. That one. That, that's that one. <laughs> that was that. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. There was a point in time, bro, where I paid for my like my bills, get gas in the cars or whatever. And I had like eight dollars the last week fucking like two weeks. Right, right. So it was a struggle. It was a struggle, 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 struggle. But, like after after seeing it like slowly like kinda turn into what I want, it's like it's worth it. You know what you need to do? You know what you need to do, excuse me. What you could check out. Yeah. You know, I was telling you about that video program. You can take, you can make your own green screens. Oh, shut up! So I mean, you know, that's that's unlimited, <laughs> unlimited options, man. Yeah, right on the program. I didn't know. So I seen people do that shit, but that'd be dope as fuck because you can put. Yeah, you do your whole. <laughs> I'm whole just saying, like man. You know, so do your do your podcast from sitting on top of the uh, the Empire State Building or some shit like that, <laughs> right? Absolutely, get a little wind, a fan going in the back. Absolutely, Ooh, you know, that should be dope. Or we could turn it into like our own, yeah. Because uh, I think I didn't mean, Adam I didn't Jumper Twenty Two or whatever his name is, Adam uh, Twenty Two Jump Jumper. Um, or... Pause. This nigga got porno out. What? He's like, he like, he does porn. Like, he has like this surprise. Hold on. Yeah, pause. That nigga. Yeah, I was doing this. Yeah, I was on Pornhub one day. I was strolling. This nigga. Who are you talking about? What the fuck? Who are you talking Not about? Not the nigga I be watching on YouTube. Oh, oh shit! The nigga out here with porno. They said, "Oh yeah, he done made it." There's a lot of people. <laughs> he's, he's on. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why even at work, bro, when we working, I hate taking breaks sometimes. Right. Because when you come back, it fucks up the momentum, bro. Everything, yeah. bro. Right. Especially for a ten minute break, bro. That's how the like I can't even get comfortable. What, what the fuck can I do in fifteen minutes, nigga? Right. Like, right. I understand it. I appreciate it's legal. But let me just keep going. Right, right. It takes five me. minutes to walk to his car. <laughs> bro! <laughs> bro! <laughs> bro, yeah. Hell yeah. Bro, hell yeah. They got to park all the way down park, there. Bro, so, park technically down y'all, the so technically, y'all supposed to park all the way. At that, at that 
one building. Right, we're right before yeah. you enter in. Yeah. On the yeah. left hand side, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It's bad. So we, we can't you do like do some shit like in them and then you get yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they get yelled at for that? Yeah, when they be parking on the side, right yeah. by uh, the curb and shit. Yeah. Yeah. They're not supposed to park? No. See, I, I had a They're supposed to park nowhere. You could get hit by the other the bo- uh, uh, Their managers are the only ones that are allowed to park on site. So, I had a feeling that they weren't supposed to park there, but they, I didn't say that. They told, like, I don't even know how many times. They've been told so many times, dude. Really? Yeah. Well, it was that thick ass head. I was talking. He was back. Never mind. That's right. Never mind. Right. I don't even know. We're going to take that part out. Uh, so, we <laughs> was doing it. Uh, so, before we got all off track or whatever, we was doing like a, a this or that. Yeah, we yeah. We was yeah, doing yeah. like, uh, and you were asking if you don't know him. If you don't know him, just say, don't know him. Okay. All right. Run um, So, we're going to do Migos or Bone Thugs and Harmony. Bone. All day. All right. And I kind of stole this from. So, I think this from. Uh, I stole all this from, day. I stole this from Drake Champs, Kanye. Noriega. You know, oh, okay. You didn't steal yeah. it, you borrowed it. I borrowed it. And borrowed it. Shout out Drake's Champs. G Champs, yeah, I don't mm-hmm. want them. Like, they didn't just copy it. Mm-hmm. He inspired me. It was an icebreaker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. He's going to be like, little Nick, stop doing my shit. He probably won't even respond to me. I don't, I'm not even up there to even say to speak to. <laughs> but uh, uh, he does this thing, like, where he has, like, uh, but he's just different. He'd be like Jay Z and Nas. His is deep because they know each other. Like that, them is his homies. Right. So it's different. Like they people, they speak of. They like they know them. We're just like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're all little, day. We're yeah. just like not even close to that one percent. We're like the yeah, I know them. Know them. I, I bought the album. <laughs> <laughs> right. So all right. Uh, you said amigos, bone thugs. You said bone thugs. All, all right. right. Kodak Black. Our NBA young boy. Do you know who that is? Uh, no, definitely not a Kodak Black fan at all. But that other dude, hey, he never should have said nothing about Nipsey. That's all I know. But outside of that, not getting into politics. Uh, and boy, NBA, he's cool, man. He on some weird shit, though. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. His, his cases keep coming up. He on some weird shit. I can't support some shit like that. See, I don't... He's I don't, got some cool tracks, though. They're all right for new shit. I try not to, like... Uh, Online, I be watching. I be saying like the little headlines and shit pop up, and I like the crazy shit. Like so and so slapped his baby mom. Like nigga, what? Like last thing I was talking about was like some some illegal sexual shit, man. Oh, the recent one? Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Oh, word, bro! I was talking to somebody. I'm not gonna say where, but uh, they said something like uh, uh, something, something, something. They made like a like a like a sex offender joke type shit. About him? No, not about him. No. Just like in general. Okay, okay. And for me, I was like, oh, that's kind of I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to laugh at that one. Like I laugh at a lot of shit, bro. I laugh. At, like don't get me wrong, I laugh at a lot of shit right. that I'm not supposed to laugh right. at. That, right. Bro. Right. I was like, I don't know how I feel about that, bro. Right. And then I was like, is that wrong? Is that like I like uh, like if you out here like I'm not talking about like motherfuckers that catch like pimping cases. I feel like that's different. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's a big difference. Yeah, but what you do is right, 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 the, the response to you should have never done it. That's my point. The response to me was like, <laughs> "Oh, you can't forgive people." Like, whoa! I, like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> like, well, I mean, forgiving you know, somebody so and then clean. right, forgiving somebody <laughs> and then acting like they didn't go oh, do some right. shit they shouldn't have done. That's oh, right. You touching kids, man? I'm just gonna call it what it is. Dude, you fucking kid touching. Right. Man. right. right. Yeah, that's why motherfuckers like that. Hey, that's why that's the last handle you want going upstate. Yeah, bro. That's the last handle you want going upstate. I'll tell you what, they find out you touching kids and shit. Yeah, man. Somebody gonna touch on you. It ain't gonna be fun. That's fucked up. That's real tough. But basically, I was just saying that to say, like, basically, it was making me feel like I'm I was a weirdo because I, I like 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 I'm some non forgiving type person because it, I don't know because you what. 
Because I, I feeling cause, about it. Because I said that like uh, uh, touching on kids is like a you can't come back from it. Hey, cover your ears if this is too blatant. I'm just saying, it's just like once you go down that road of putting in your mouth, you know, you, you just, you, there's no going back, dude. So, so there's time no going back. You I know. Crossed that line. All right. So since you brought it up, we go take it there and we go get saying. a little. So you don't think? So uh, there's a woman in the room. So this isn't Whoa. this isn't weird. And pause. We go say this first. Yeah, we should have been so, <laughs> so pause. But hey, I got a question. No, homo, this, is gonna, be, this is gonna be this gonna be some gay shit. But so you guys don't be, you, can men be bisexual? No, man. I think that no, no. If you're fucking gay, you're fucking gay. I'm sorry. You I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to have an opinion like that out loud. Right. You know what I mean? But well, babe, what do you think? Can men be bisexual? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's out of pocket. I mean, it, 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 it's still gay. Yeah. Bottom line, it's still gay. Yeah, what's that? It doesn't baby? have to be a piece. Yeah, but it, if, okay, but one, again, once you go down that road, <laughs> once you cross that lane into the penisville, it's over. What do you mean it doesn't have to be a penis? It can be other things. It can be a toy. It can Oh, that's still oh, gay, though. Oh, you that's still more gay. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Time out, time out, time out. Like, uh, time out. I, you can't be having no joy in your booty, gay. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's some other yeah. shit you can't go back from. Yeah. <laughs> so, time out. So, look. Yeah. This, this is it. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey. Yeah. Pause. Oh, shit. Pause. Pause. Listen. He's so. in the mirror with a butt plug. <laughs> He's out of pocket. Look at right. Rice done, nigga. He's out of pocket. Rice done it all, motherfucker. He's out of pocket. He has a whole diamond. He's out of pocket. Oh, oh, oh. He's out of pocket. Oh, shit. He still got his socks. <laughs> <laughs> the boy's out of pocket. Huh? You are stupid. You are fucking dumb, bro. <laughs> Wait, oh, shit. The boy's out of pocket. I'm, I'm, oh, so man. So for lie. me, I thought, I thought, Something, I thought the only way something could be gay is if you're doing it with like the same sex. I mean, okay, I don't don't take my. Hey, I'm just saying, I have my own personal opinions that go way deeper than that, and that shit is just gay. Period. However you cut it, in my personal opinion and my personal verbiage, not with not not what anybody else would feel or even title it as. I just think that's gay as shit for a man to do anything with another man. I think that automatically changes the whole scenario of being, you know, open to other shit to just being fucking gay at that point. It's just, it is what it is. That come out to the, uh, with the, uh, the brat just came out and got married. Just some female. I mean, she's already been out, but she's in the, obviously yeah. the way she dressed and shit, but it's like, she got married to the, I mean, to see that, you know, in, in, in the sense that I'm saying that's gay too, man. That's, you feel me? So I was just like, but. Even though it's like whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's like, is that gotta wrong? hold it to the same standards or what, bro? Because it's like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just okay talking about the man part. I'm not okay with because I'm a man. Okay I'm, okay I'm, okay I'm okay with them having a sexual relationship. But I'm not okay with old boy to be having a sexual relationship. Right. And so, that's all I'm saying. I think that's a double standard. It's a double standard. At least we can admit that. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't know. For me, I don't, I don't know. If, uh, I think, I think somebody can have interest in both. I, I don't know. I mean, I it, it, is, it is, what it is, really. Huh? That got, that got to stay to a female's liking. Like, if you want to fuck with females, you can fuck with niggas. Or, or men. All right, cool. But if you, as the male, is choosing to try to get at me. They're trying to blow kisses at me. You out of pocket. Alright, so and that's good. You told me that you out of pocket. You should have just waited for shorty. You would you need at least to turn So So if a, so if another dude found you attractive, you would be upset. I'd have been found attractive by a lot of dudes. But nigga, yeah, that shit uh, is oh, like Hey, if that's the case, I just don't wanna know. See, I, I, I would be I'm not over it. No, hold like, on, nigga. I would be flattered. I'd be like, oh, thanks, nigga, but oh, nah, bro. Remember they had the modeling nah, agency bro. down downtown nah. or whatever? They used to have a model, modeling agency or whatever. Where? Uh, yeah, that, 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 that downtown. Okay. So every time I eat, you know, I used to eat different food. So every time I go to the thing, it'd be like, I look gay niggas around the corner over here. Or like, and then the females be on this side, or like, why don't you come on? You, 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 
just to the chocolate, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> Just want to go home. Like, if I'm at the house, you go home. You I ain't never had that. That's why I said, like, thank you, Lord. I'm like, I'm like, 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 Sell drugs and shit like that. Weed specifically. I had this one, uh, <clears throat> this one homosexual uh, buddy. I guess I'll call him buddy. Uh, I had this bomb. That's a little ass... gay as fuck too. I had a little ho- homosexual buddy. Yeah. Hey. 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 You know what I'm saying? I'm saying this dude was was like, and he was like straight up front with it, like, "This is me. This is what I am." <clears throat> And he was like, he used to just come by ounces out after counts every day. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. a good, that's a good customer. Ounce every day, hey, run it, yeah. bro. And he was just so super gay, bro. And he was just like, I don't care. Do you this mean? Is me. So I'm talking about. Do you mean? Like, do you mean like, like gay as in like flamboyant? Gay as in? Because like, I feel like there'd he be... used to go down to dark cells. I don't know if you know if either one of y'all know what that is. Dark cells downtown. Oh, dark cells. Dark cells downtown. Yeah. Oh, the cross dresser bar. Well, yeah. I'm saying, man. I see white space. Drag queen show. Hey, yeah. She blushing over here. <laughs> I love that bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, just I saying. Got, I've, I've, been, I've been in there and I got kicked out. Oh. <laughs> What'd you do? A guy I know it was a gay bar. Oh, okay. The first time I walked yeah, in. Yeah, I, I, I walked in there and didn't Chinese. know it was a gay bar either. I walked right out. He probably was like, what the fuck? Yeah. 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 I seen the fuck first one. Away from from me. I seen the second, yeah. third, and I was like, oh, no, I'm going. Yeah, uh, y'all niggas no, lying. Time yeah, out. Yeah. I think y'all niggas lying. Everybody know that shit the gay bar, bro. bro. <laughs> this is bro. When I first hey, hold on, shit. hold on. So you asked me about when I got out of prison and shit. I was I was almost nineteen. When I became nineteen years old, I got a fake ID. I was bouncing around all the strip clubs everywhere. <laughs> all I know is it was a club. We were downtown. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> In the door, out the door. You know what I mean? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, 19 years old, man. I didn't that's know that was a fucking gay bar. I just got out of prison. <laughs> Oh, okay, I gotta get him. Oh, no, I gotta get up out of here. I'm pretty sure before you even walk in, though, there's pictures on the outside facing the sidewalk of drag queens. So. I don't know. Let's see. 19. <laughs> oh, no. That's how I'm going to Oh, no. I'm not dead. She's pulling cards. She's pulling cards. I've never been there. I'm trying to remember how old I am. Uh, what year that was. I can confess this. <laughs> we we yeah. pull it. I wasn't gonna say that. I just was like, okay, I, we're, we're hey, <laughs> you familiar with they walls? So. <laughs> yeah, I've been there a couple of times. Yeah, that, yeah, that was my first time. I was in there 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in all fairness, I am 11 years older than you. <laughs> Two seconds, and I'll tell you what, at 19 years old, I wasn't paying attention to what the fuck I was walking into. Uh, so I'm not even gonna look up and see if they had shit on the walls uh, before you went in. Uh, <laughs> Like if we ever talk about like a subject like uh, 
gays and what are gay people and how like we feel about that. I feel like we should at least have like a couple people from that. From that, uh, we gotta keep six feet distant. You're stupid as <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'm just saying, we got like, social distance. You're retarded, bro. <laughs> I was just basically saying, like, I'm wearing a mask on. That one time, that we're going to say, like, you are fucking retarded. Yeah, like, you are fucking retarded. Like, you're 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 fucking the debate if uh, women not having your, your job not providing birth control was was uh, the, the job had the right to do so basically. But you remember when we had that conversation, we had like <laughs> I thought it was gonna fall. When we had that conversation, we had like four different women. We had four women present. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, see, okay, okay. that's all right. And if you like Mr. Handcrafted T-shirts, you can buy them. Hey, no. Hey. Uh, mm-hmm. 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 uh, but I just feel like if we ever like talk about a tough topic like that, I feel like we gotta have those people from that uh, from that community present, with so we're not like bashing. You know what I mean? I wasn't bashing nobody. No, 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 no. no by no means. I'm, I was talking about because he was saying something about like how he feels about like the 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 lifestyle or some shit like that. I mean, what what we were talking about was one thing, like just to give. We were talking about something pretty specific. Yeah, yeah. Yes. just to like speak on like somebody's lifestyle. And then we just spent the last ten minutes talking about that. So <laughs> that, that was a little weird. I'm blaming that, it on somebody else for. I you know, didn't say it on the wall and all this other stuff, bro. Mm-hmm. She, mm-hmm. she called you out. I didn't say <laughs> I anything. I just went into a place and came out. Hey, sure, is that it's like going to Starbucks. <laughs> hey, that's, that's your story. story. That's your story. <laughs> Who the fuck am I to tell you you're not? <laughs> and this is how I was going to run with it to begin with. That was white dude that called you out, man. I didn't say anything. I didn't make that 10 minutes. That was not me. So put that in the record. That was not Rick that spit. Ten minutes talking about <laughs> motherfucking Garcelle's the fucking transgender strip club, mind you. <laughs> How about two minutes? We got about ten minutes on me. Caught it back, NBA young boy. I didn't know that shit about NBA young boy. We kind of spun off on that whole pedophile <laughs> thing. <laughs> we did but, too. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <clears throat> Nick Cannon or Eminem? Eminem. Oh, that was a big difference. So, okay. I don't like. I don't like. See, here's the thing. I'm not an Eminem fan, but I respect Eminem for his actual abilities, which he's only done, in my personal opinion, a handful of times. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's all. But Nick Cannon, I'm sorry, I'm not. I don't like Nick Cannon. I'm not a fan. That wild and out shit drives me nuts. I can wild out and punch myself in the face. Just saying. That's a, for, I'm so, just saying that's my personal opinion. So for me, Dave Chappelle was like the dad. You're not funny like Nick though. Remember that? I do remember that one. My wife make you know what I'm saying she don't make me watch that shit, but she have it on the TV. I walk by a little, you know, yeah. and get stuck for a couple minutes Nick at a time. Is hilarious, dad. <clears throat> you know he has like his own syndicated like TV show. He's like on like uh, Dancing with the Stars or like some bit, and he's like. I'm, okay. I'm, he was, or no, it was, uh, it was like the mass Singer. Oh, no, Nick, Nick Cannon, Cannon was? Since he yeah. Was like 14, bro. Was yeah. I remember that uh, in a fucking drum line, man. So, and so like. <laughs> That's some old shit. Yeah, That's absolutely. That movie, That's still that movie. So like, and for me, so like, I think those movies, he paid mm-hmm. for himself, I think. Or he like, it was like his Did idea. he start out like a Disney kid? Oh I, I think, think so. On Disney or but he's like the, right, he's the chairman of Nickelodeon now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He fucking, he was on Mass Singer, he was on this other show, and I think he started wilding out with his own money. And so for me, it's like... That's dope. I'm, I'm not like, hating on him, don't get me wrong. No. I just, just because I'm not a fan doesn't mean I'm hating on him. No, 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 absolutely. But we, I was saying that because we had a Vic, uh, Salt Vic, Victor, mm-hmm. from work. We had him come on, and uh, 
he was talking about how he liked Eminem or something like that. <laughs> and we was like, stop dick riding him or some shit like that. He was like, saying some shit like, you don't know me? Like, basically, he was like, <laughs> I was like, you gotta say no homo after saying some shit like that. He was like, y'all don't know me, I'm gonna say shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like Eminem, it was crazy. It was crazy. Is that nigga be dressing up like for like all our Halloween shit? He be dressing up like. Let's let's be clear. I'm not an Eminem fan. Okay. Nah, it was just it was just funny because we had we had a debate. I don't think he's not. I don't. I don't think see. I don't need top twenty. No, no, not giving it. But Nick Cannon ain't even in that running. Nick Cannon's not even in thousand. No, no. <laughs> that, that was all A. So that, that was where I went with the A. Eminem. You're right. Okay, I okay. I'm not, a, I'm not a rapper. I can't really, I feel like I can't really have an opinion. And I don't feel like I've listened. What the fuck you mean? You can always have an opinion. Absolutely. An opinion. Absolutely. Everybody should have, whether you state it out loud or not is a whole different story, but everybody has an opinion. That's a fact. That's a fact. But I feel like sometimes when you like, in the presence of people that do music, sometimes you I know you look like you wanted to kill me when I said Eminem. A little bit. Like, oh. <laughs> he was like, "This motherfucker's gonna say that." Because, like, for me, <laughs> like that's like saying, like, if somebody asks, like, "Who's your favorite uh, female R and B singer?" and somebody said Britney Spears. Oh lord. And so for me, it's like pocket. And so for me, it's like would say that need to be sued. Listen, <laughs> listen, look, look, listen to my run on it. It's like she's a dope singer. She's went have all these albums. I think she has Grammys and shit like that. That's cool. You can't you can't argue her success and what she's done in music. You know what I mean? But when you come to like the genre, it's like mm. I don't even know what genre yeah, she falls in. Yeah. Like pop. But yeah, it's, it doesn't pop just mean like popular music though, or what I is? What I don't even know what the fuck it means, I babe. I have no idea. We can look it up though. Look. Uh, I got a, I, while you looking that up, I got a couple more. 50 Cent or Ja Rule? And that little beef, who'd you take in that? I think Ja Rule's a better rapper. The 50 Cent? All day. Yeah. So, like, oh, I never liked 50 Cent's rapping, man. On some real shit, son, they don't want beef. I cock that, ain't that shit out the window and sprayed, and it shell left in my... Y'all niggas better lay down, yeah, I mean, stay down, get hit with a K round your ass, and make it, you niggas. That's niggas. 50. Laid out, blood. Raise out hey. you on a concrete shimmer, niggas take it. Off a of south side, motherfucker. <laughs> when the gas is low. If you feel like you're on fire, boy, drop and roll. Them hollers will eat your ass up. No, I'm All right, so check this out. So that, that was actually 50? Yeah, that was 50. I, that was pretty popular. I went with Ja Rule and that, but I bought all the 50 out. So check this out. When you So I I, I started yeah. reading, listening to the uh, Audible. Audible got like uh, books you can read and shit like that. But you, it's like a, somebody reading their book and... Like, so you listen to their book or whatever. And when you understand the story of kind of, like, how 50 Cent, like, what his motives was behind it, his music was basically supposed to be, like, some fun, like, making fun of a dude type shit. You know what I mean? It wasn't supposed to be, like, it was supposed to be hot and it was supposed to be catchy, and but it was also supposed to be, like, poking fun at Ja Rule. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, it wasn't supposed to be, like, some <clears throat> lyrical change your life type shit like he was just trying to like make a big splash and an impact and like prove that this motherfucker wasn't what he said and he said the whole thing started with him and Ja Rule because he had seen Ja Rule and Broad Daylight get robbed got his chain took and everything like that and so like the next time he had seen 50 Cent had seen Ja Rule in the club he thought that they was about to like it was going to be some, like, static and shit. But they didn't do nothing. And so 50 was like, oh, this nigga ain't what he rapping about. And so shortly after, he just started poking fun at him and shit like that. He said at first, it didn't really stick or nothing like that. It was like, who the fuck is this little motherfucker? He's Ja Rule, and he's, like, just some dope dealer, you know? And so I, felt, I forgot there was a certain something that happened. And 50 Cent, like, got that dude's attention, and it, it was, like, it was a rap out that, like, and what was even doper about 50 was he ended up, like, uh, giving his music, basically, to the bootleggers, and they spreaded his music for him. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah. And got, him, got himself popping oh, yeah, through the bootleggers. So, like, he, like, he worked the system 
to become like that top dude in the game. Like there's like a story behind a lot of these people, and it's like when 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 you for at least for me when you when I hear the story, it's just like these motherfuckers is really dope. You know what I right, mean? Right. And I don't know. You were you read the work harder. Uh... Work. I, I listen. I listen to it. I got it. The, I got the audible. It was dope, huh? Yeah, it's just dope. I need to get the hardbacks to some of these, but you, I, you heard it. You heard that one. The Yeah, it's a good book, oh, it's bro. A, it's a book. Yeah. I'll call it that. Yeah, but it's a book. You, you should check it out. It's it's called it's uh works uh works works smarter. I don't know. Work smarter. Not work harder. Work smarter. Something like that. Work harder. Work smarter. It's a dope book. You should check it out. But it ain't better than Hurricane. Mm-hmm. 50, I said it. <clears throat> That's Gucci, man. I need to get that one. Or is that Rick Ross's? Rick Ross, man. All right, I need to get Rick Ross's, too. I'm going to get both of those. That's a little different. Mm-hmm. Is it really? Mm-hmm. All right. What about, all right, I got some females for you. What about Eve or Little Kim? Eve. 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 Little Kim only had one song I ever even liked, bro. She was a freaky little <laughs> Oh, you from I'm that era, to too, of, damn, yeah. like, I was Old, like, man. fuck, I was like, Lil' Kim is hella hard, yeah. but Eve is like... She had a couple, man, I can't, uh, Backstabbers, bro, like, whoa. that's the illest fucking shit, you know what song I'm talking about, you heard mm-hmm. that? That's a backstabbers. before my time. Oh, bro, Part like, on the Junior Mafia, uh, shit. This is is like that Eve? Eve? This or Lil' Kim? Oh, Lil' Kim, okay. Yeah, look, hey, I'm telling you, backstabbers, bro. They smile in your face. Oh, okay, okay, so okay, 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 okay. I do know that. Yeah, I know that song. See, I'm young, and and at that time, I was, like I said, I was listening to like Bible shit, nigga. I was listening to hip hop. Only yeah, time I yeah. listened to that shit is like Jam ninety five point five. My mom was not at the house or something like that. I remember I used to fucking. Do y'all know what K Boo is? I do know what K Boo is. Yeah, they still they're around? All underground. Back when it was all underground rap, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, you used to listen to Black Casanova. Name don't ring a bell, huh? No. No, not Kaboom. One of the DJs and shit. Oh, I don't know nothing about that shit. Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, that actually does. Now that you say that, he said he was a DJ. Yeah, I mean, that bro, that's old. Are you old. gonna do? That? They haven't done that in forever. Uh, I couldn't remember. I mean, they still every once in a while. It's been some years now, but I'd pull up on K-Boo on the channel and shit, and there would be some underground shit on there. Shit. So we was going to do, like, a little, uh, every time we do, like, uh, an episode, we try to do, like, a current event, something that's, like, popping in the media or something like that. And so one thing that's been trending on the internet is this story about this rapper named Uzi Vert from Philadelphia. He got a, a pink diamond, 24 million pink diamond. And so we just go read the, <laughs> Is that a fucking joke? No. So we gonna read the story B and we after at the end of Mikey reading the story, we go we go wrap Oh up. my god, give it to me. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh shit. Okay, so on January thirtieth, Lil Uzi Vert tweeted, I've been paying for a natural pink diamond for years now. This one stone costs so much, I've been paying for it since two thousand and seventeen. This was the first time I saw a real natural pink diamond. Days later, photos were all over the internet that he has implanted the pink diamond in the middle of his forehead. He originally bought the diamond to be made into a ring, but after some thought, he realized that he couldn't trust himself to not lose it if he simply wore it on his finger. The diamond cost more than his cars and home combined, a whopping $24 million and is almost 11 carats in size. <laughs> in an interview with Fat Joe, the rapper explained. I can't go get that boy. Hey! You know what's up? The rapper. Get on on you. The rapper explained, "I'm Lil Uzi. I'm turned up. So twenty-four million dollars on a ring is the stupidest idea because I'm gonna look down and that ring ain't gonna be there. I know me. I wake up in odd places and different scenarios." That's left an open book. Hey, I'll tell you what, just like you said, somebody go take that man's head off. He, he just put a target on his own for what the fuck is he, a Super Saiyan? What the fuck is a gym? He did, Why would he he did a say troll he had doll? insurance on it. 
what on but, his head? So he, <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm, most a lot of rappers got like insurance on their body parts that are, are on themselves and shit like that because they're like a business and some shit. But there was a video that said like <laughs> he had posted something like if he gets like if it gets bumped or removed or done something wrong with he can like die or some shit like that. It's right in the middle of his forehead. But there was another rapper named Sauce Walker from Texas, I believe, and he got. Uh, an implant on his face. He got like a diamond, like teardrop, I believe. That's kind of dope, nigga. When I that first saw it, dope. it was like a diamond. It was, but his was like a, qu- uh, a quarter million dollars, not twenty four million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars <laughs> on a fucking diamond. diamond is still a lot of fucking money. That's like a house in your face. Right. Like that's two yeah, houses. That's more than a two houses. I mean, here in Portland, million. that's that's like a townhouse here in Portland, bro. That's not really like a house house. Um, well, Lil Uzi Vert says that he's got M's on his face. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Lord <laughs> Almighty. We're talking about rapping now? Because we're talking about staying? I was about to be like, Sauce, come on now. You mm-hmm. you only got only got 250000 Cutty. You might as well, you shouldn't have done that. But the if, thing is, he did. If you're not going $25 million, Look, check this out. If you're not going above $24 million, don't do it. So he did it first, though. I don't care. And what's funny is, when care. he first did it, he had posted a video, and he's like super animated and shit. He was like, ah, what you niggas gonna do? You gonna get, hello? Hello? Oh, my bad. Yeah, what you gonna do? He was, like, what you, he was like, what you gonna do? You guys gonna have to get like a uh, an implant on your cheek? You gonna get it on your, what, on your lip? Or what, you gonna get implanted on your forehead? He, he had said, like, whatever people basically do, they gonna be copying him. And so, here we are, fucking four or five months later, and Uzi Vert got a damn implant on his forehead. And he's a bigger star, I feel like, too. So it was like, I feel like people were like, who the fuck is Sauce Walker? Yeah, I never heard of that. He, I mean, he, he kind of pop- music. Yeah. He, <laughs> he kind of popping, though. What y'all think about that? Y'all think it's stupid? I don't even know who the fuck he is. No, it's, it's, true, it's whatever you want to do. But I'm, at the end of the day, true being, if you did, mm-hmm. if they really want that diamond, they're going to come get that diamond. That's just. But you don't. It won't be niggas like us. You feel It'll me? be a sport. <laughs> it won't be They'll make it painful. It be I feel like I feel like sometimes people like that are that high profile. I don't think it'll be using rock on with security and shit. Niggas strapped That's up. That's what I'm saying. It won't be niggas like us. Like for the edge, it's just run. It's gonna be somebody if they really want that diamond. They're gonna come get that diamond. But there ain't nothing he's gonna be able to do about it. This is the bottom line. You got 24 million, and I want it. I feel like people with that type of money. I watch too many movies, though. Huh? I think so. <laughs> yeah, because those people Cause you the... wouldn't be able to sell that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would you be able to do, bro? You just killed a motherfucker for it. I you ain't gonna be able to sell that diamond. You don't gotta to kill nobody. You don't gotta kill him for the diamond. He That's said like, if he get, if yeah. he removes it, he, if he's not right, removed right, he gonna die. That's what I'm saying. So I, I watch too many movies then, then just die. I know we can come up with a strategy not to kill the motherfucker <laughs> and extract the diamond. Mm-hmm. And we about it without a trace. So what you do is you just kidnap the motherfucker. You, know what I'm saying? you take him to somebody that does plastic surgery. That will saying. remove it, you know, uh, correctly. Or we can't. And then the he stays surgery. alive. Mm-hmm. And the then shelf. we still got to figure out who's, who's going to buy the diamond. <laughs> Have you ever like seen somebody die or almost watched somebody like just die or like almost die? Yeah. Or be wow. dead? Yeah. Wow. It's a gross. It's a, oh, no, it's just gross. Yeah. yeah. So for me, it's just like the the idea of like that just to get like. Twenty-four million. <laughs> how you get the dot, man? How you get that? Ain't the same. You got. I'm good. That's just different, bro. That's a different. That's a different. No, you I'm gotta saying, live with that shit. No, that's I'm a different. Saying. That's a different type. Of, what you? No, no. It's twenty-four million, bro. You Come just on. said she. I, I feel like it I feel, more than his house and his. I feel body. like a lot of people, rich people, especially, fucking live with. A lot of mental problems and shit like that. So, just because you got the money, don't really mean that's going to change your life. Oh, you giving them excuses. What? What type of mental? You can't be that mental if you live in that I mean, if you're a kid and you never have a chance to really find yourself, you always have these people like loving you and shit. And then all of a sudden, one day you're just not popping anymore, and you lose all that. You have no idea who the fuck you are. Nobody really help you pick yourself back up, and everybody's like, "Oh, you're fucking crazy. You washed up drug addict." That'd make me go crazy too. You was already a crazy washed up drug addict. <laughs> Just without the money. Yeah, before you even. 
because now how'd you get the drugs in the first place? Why would they? No, I understand. I understand that, but I'm just saying, like, when you're popping, they, it, they believe to keep being that person. But when you're not, I'm not giving them no excuse. No, 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 that's like that. That's like that. You can't. I feel like everybody's human though, and everybody has their. Nobody's perfect though. I don't. I don't. I don't judge anybody. You can, but if you got, I'm lying. Uh, I be judging. If you got, a, if you got enough money though, <laughs> like realistically, if you got enough money though, to just be like to live life. You're doing extra shit to be doing extra shit. You're, you're doing that on your own terms. They don't know mental problems. There's, I, we can walk past down the street and see some motherfuckers with actual mental problems. We talking about self awareness, your self problems. Oh no, a lot of these broke homeless motherfuckers just want don't want to have no deals, bro. No, 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 you got all those motherfuckers you walk by, pass by, they walking down the street looking up, talking and shit. No, it's a it's a lot of motherfuckers that's we're talking broke, to themselves. And then it's a lot of motherfuckers who's really is mentally disabled. But are those are those mental problems induced by drugs? Because I feel like motherfuckers have bad trips all the time. And here in Oregon, y'all know drugs is like <laughs> especially like hard drugs. We talking about like meth. Not like I don't know. I just I just, just say no. Say no to dare. Dare be yeah. different. Just that's, a, that's what we okay. That's what we saying. Just say no. Yeah, I, I, I am saying I'm not opposed. Nigga, do what you do. Catch your tank, nigga. Get you a bump, nigga. That's your you do what you do on your time. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. But uh, I feel like I don't know. I feel like anything done in moderation can be good or okay. Because I, I have this philosophy, like, if you drink too much fucking water, you can die. Like, you just, like, there's this, there, I said this on another episode. There was this contest that was called, I think it was called Hold Your Weed to Win a Weed. It was when the weeds first came out. Basically, there was this competition to see who could drink too, like, the most water. And the person, I think, the one who drank, like, two and a half gallons of water or some shit like that, essentially ended up, like, drowning from the inside out. Drinking too much water. You can see that. Is that a fact? I'm going to have to check that out. Hold your weed. That sounds like some stupid shit to die from. Just <laughs> a weed. Hold your weed or win a weed, I believe the contest is called. Did the peep, did somebody sue him for that shit? Because you know that's what they do these days. I have no idea. It was like something I read about in school. It was like a book report or some shit I had to do or something like that. Like school school? Like high school? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. See what they do with cool shit. Really? I see. I went to like a business prep school. When, when I was in high school, we had wagons and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking just two miles from the show. Yeah, right. Barefooted uphill. That's <laughs> so I, honestly, I feel like I'm not. I'm like I don't think people that like if they do do drugs, I don't think it's anything wrong with them. But I feel like there's a difference for people that are abusing drugs and are tripped down on the street because of it, and people that have serious mental. There's, I think there's a difference, in my opinion. What the fuck? I don't know shit, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> but, um, so you guys just said, you guys think it's stupid, he shouldn't have done it, or what? Yeah, yeah I can't tell him it's stupid or whatever. What shit? It's been funny. I was listening to Charlamagne. forehead. Charlamagne, the guy was like, he doesn't think that it costs really, cost $24 million. I don't know, it's pretty big. Yeah, it is what it is. A lot of people, yeah, it is what it is. It is $10 million. A million dollars, nigga. You got it on the middle of your forehead. Bottom line. I you know, think the difference though is that it's not a regular diamond. It's a pink, pink diamond. diamond. It's rare. Yeah. I wonder if he was just saying that hoping, like trying to help How him not have people attack Hold him on. or some shit like that. How is a pink diamond rare? I've never it's a seen. natural pink diamond. It's not like. What pink diamonds are normal? In my opinion. All right, I'm not gonna go down that line. Never mind. Never mind. Well, all do. No Educate us, so. nigga. I don't know shit. Nigga, tell me so. Are all diamonds pink? I don't know. I don't know shit. I know, I know there's different styles. There's like BBS, there's BBS, there's yeah. BS. The dude at Fred Myers Jewelers was trying to educate us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't got no big, I ain't got, I don't go to like Mark Jacobs and shit like all that. All I know is different corners of the world. Really? I didn't see, I, I didn't know that. That makes well, sense. Can assume they all come from a couple of places. I mean, of course, there will be diamonds in different places. I, I only a diamond. Most, I feel like the most diamonds that I think of when I think of diamonds come from like it's like the blood diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I, I'm sure there's like right. diamonds from mines and shit like that, <laughs> other places. But for me, sometimes what like when I hear diamonds, that's what I think about. 
I have no fucking idea. You don't I don't know, know shit either. I don't know shit. All right. Love it though. What's your favorite era of hip hop? Old school. We gonna do early nineteen seventies to eighties. New school would be like mid like eighties to nineties or like twenty first century is like two thousands to now. No, you already know my answer. You gonna be like I'm the nineties. Eighties, nineties years. Okay. Eighties was cool. You know what I mean? That was a different, whole different type of shit though. Just the music vibe was all different. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's when drug dealing was real. Right. <laughs> right. And niggas didn't snitch. There was rules to the street. Yeah. Motherfuckers was solid. Yeah. Loose didn't sink ships. 88. Mm-hmm. Bro, everything I remember I was like back in like when I used to like back a while ago, I remember I was talking to people and I was just like, Hey, what would you do if somebody like just happened to just like front you something, give you something? I was like, nigga, I ain't never coming back. I was like, Oh shit, nigga. The streets is dead. <laughs> right, right. right. Well, that, was that my son? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I was like, nigga, what? That's crazy. I, back when I was like 15, 16, doing whatever, like, that was a dream of mine to have a... Right. Ah, that out, that bro, that nigga, out. just give me my chance. Just give me one. Give me, nigga, an eighth, nigga, on right, everything. Right. Come I will come, I'll, back, I'll, come back for a quarter. Nigga, I'll, you keep all your profit, nigga. Let me just show you what I can do. That's how I don't know. I would I would have died for that shit. But like when you get to a point where you like start asking, hey, well, little nigga, like what happened? So I, I ain't never. I, I blame pies though. That run up on the plug. That song. I think that's it's his song. I think that's. I didn't ran up on plug. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think it's his fault. I blame him. <laughs> Honestly, for that's because motherfuckers was already doing that. Niggas was running up on the plug then. It just is a right, right, different. Yeah, it's just a different time, different time zone. Yeah, but I think it was different, bro. Not everybody was running off on the nah, road. Nah, not like everybody, no. but it was, I mean, that didn't. They, look, you, even I mean, then, I mean, there was, you know what I'm saying? Right. Motherfuckers didn't snitch because you just, you just got it. You yeah. snitched, you were done for it. Now everybody snitched. You know what I'm saying? There is no goddamn club no more, bro. Not from what I see. You know? Yeah. And sure. Everybody I talked to, just like I was telling you about OG Quinn, bro. Yeah. Like, he's like, that's some real shit, bro. The whole game's changed. It's different now because it's like, but they, uh, I, I watch a show t- sometimes called like Vlad TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, he was saying something about how he was in New York City and how he was in, in his car in New York City. I think he might even have like tinted windows or something like that. And he just had his camera out and the cops came over and basically like was able to see through his car what he had and basically told him he can't be recording. I was like, it's, the game has changed to the point where the technology, like the police like technology, that. has gotten they so... like x-ray vision on his ass? Uh, something like that. that, was, that, was, that, was, that was, it was in New York, though. Like, so. If they really want to catch you, they can catch you, bro. Right. Come know. on, I remember Enemy of the State? Okay. Yeah. When absolutely. they were reading the watch from space? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> man. That's some real life shit. They be showing you everything 20 years earlier. They, they yeah, can't that's already the got thing that about shit. it. Yeah. You, you know what's crazy is I, I used... I say this all the time, but like, if you think about, there's this movie when I was younger that came out called Spy Kids. That used to be a shit. Yeah. Oh, everything. Mama, that was oh, <laughs> everything. Sure Everybody that. loved that shit. Until Spy Kids 3, I was like, I'm over this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's when they killed it. <laughs> but... They tried to do some funny shit because we got old, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, everything. They tried to do some funny shit. That shit was lame. <laughs> but uh, everything in the first Spy Kids is almost like a thing now. They had like, the yeah, boats in the water. water. Yeah, they had like the cell phones they had. Like yeah. almost all the gadgets that they had are like a thing. Like robotic dogs and shit. Bro, all that shit. Bro, look, look over uh, in Europe or some shit. They got a fucking synthetic person. Yeah, bro. Walking, talking, doing fucking uh, yeah. speeches and shit. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, it's, it's, technology is definitely going to take over the world. It's going to be like some I told you earlier they brought that fair effect to life after. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's some weird shit. <laughs> zombies is gonna be a real thing, bro. Everything. I don't think zombies is gonna be a real thing, but I think that you ever seen the show? Y'all watch Netflix? All day. You seen Mist? You seen the Mist yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be like the Mist. What's that? I think you didn't see the Mist, Stephen King. Oh, uh, like that's zombies. my shit. That shit was more realistic. More like they made it more realistic of what it could possibly be. Like a, we could all obviously. Get I think the, uh, Logic, unless you, unless it's an actual. 
Yeah. And you get bit, you gotta get bit though to get the zombie. Yeah. No, I'm, talk, I'm talking about dead. the zombies are gonna be the damn clones, man. Yeah, they're like, just gonna turn on people. Yeah, it was and the robots already they're making. there. It was, yeah, I was like, that's be like cool. Terminator. <laughs> Yeah, so how? So if you can say, how would you think the world's gonna end? We're gonna blow this bitch up on our own, man. Uh, we're, we're talking about the world order, world end, or God's world. How, nigga, however, either one. Maybe you mean life as we know it, or life, or or the world itself? Um, uh, I would say life as we know it, to the point where it's already happened. I'm sorry, we got like a couple thousand more years to go. Life as we know it already is. Really? Yeah, Trump says. Oh yeah, the old world that the world we was just in? Oh that's gone, that's over, that's dead. Yeah. That's dead. That is dead. That shit died in two thousand sixteen. That shit dead. It just took a minute to catch you up and, for people to realize where the fuck we at. Oh. But like that world is dead. That nineteen nineties we were just talking about the two thousand yeah. that world is dead. Yeah, that world been dead. That shit is dead. When we die, where we, we <laughs> that world is dead. For sure, for sure. So you guys believe in the new world order? I mean, I think we had a new world order when Trump took over. I think we got another one right now. You know what I'm saying? And I am not into politics at all. I just can't stand Donald Trump. <laughs> what do you think? I think Biden ain't no better. Nah, you know what I'm saying? See, my thing with, with, with Trump and Biden, and I, I think this is a fact. That's an oxymoron. I think this is, I think this is real. Uh, back in the day when people was looking to, for loans and to start businesses and shit, Donald Trump was usually the person that, like, most hip-hop people, Al Sharpton, uh, Jesse Jackson, that's who all, like, people like that went to to look to get loans and shit was, was Donald Trump. Like, supposedly, he had helped fund some of the civil rights movement. And so, during that time, this video, uh, I believe it was Joe Biden in the state capitol calling black people super predators and shit like that. Oh, and so for me, it's like I'm not saying that Trump, Donald Trump is a good person or anything like that, but there has to be some media twist somewhere, somehow. Because you don't go from by funding the civil rights movement to fucking hating black people. Yes, you can. Do you? Yes, the fuck you can. Oh. Wherever money talk, man, wherever the money, whatever, whatever money you finna put out, you know you finna get a revenue back. Well, there's a stream of income and he, everywhere. And he just but, pardoned all those people. Here I, I, I wouldn't, I'm not Lil saying, Wayne. I'm not Lil saying, Wayne, I'm not Kodak saying. Black, the fucking mayor of Michigan. I forgot that gentleman's name. That nigga Trump. I mean, that nigga Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Oxymoron, once again. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about like agenda, we talking about agendas. The agenda was was formed. It's for Trump to come in, shake some shit up. You feel me? Because he's not aware, or he could be aware. I mean, he's a billionaire, so I'm pretty sure he's aware of a whole lot of shit. But to shake some shit up, just as in like stir up a little trouble because he is this type of person. But at the end of the day, he's not doing anything negative. He did everything that you would do in your regular home, or if you walked outside. He did the same thing we all do. But at the end of the day, that's how you know the president ain't no different than the next motherfucker. Like, like we ain't do nothing that, but on Biden, you finna see a whole lot of shit that ain't normal, bro. Like, hey, bro, one thing that I saw he was doing was he was. Uh, I'm not gonna get too far on this because I feel like this can be kind of touchy too. But like, he had he had signed some law that basically approved women, transgender males to play women's sports. My bad. So if you're a, a woman and you women just validate. say you're identified... What grade are we talking about? Like We're not talking about high school, school, right? High school. Man, hell no. High school, bro. So I'm supposed to... Yeah. So, so I, it, it, this isn't even a topic. Yeah. This yeah. isn't even a topic, man. And I then, got little girls. Right. Okay. And, and they said the world we live in is gone. That world is over with, my man. So so, we get ready for the new president. This yep. is what Biden is for. We're getting ready for the new president. They they even talking about to the point where they gonna even have to get to the point where they're gonna have to like allow men that are 
identify. I think it's even like that now. The men that identify as women use the same. That's some shit. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. I can't and, stand going. I'm really looking at that. That's a weird thing. It is hella weird thing. Like, I in a perfect world, I feel like we should be peaceful and human enough where we all should be able to just use a bathroom. In a perfect world, you shouldn't even be gay. In a perfect world. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I did not endorse that statement. I, I'm endorsing it. We're going to say, in a perfect world. Come on. In a perfect world. Literally, in a perfect world. Come on, nigga. <laughs> there just ain't even no such thing as a perfect world. Like, nigga, so. there ain't no such thing. Really, in a perfect world. Come on, nigga. There's a lot of shit that don't. Come on. This nigga is wild. That, that, one of that, that ain't it. Okay? That, I, that's, we living in that world right now. Hey, I don't know nothing about that, bro. Uh, I, don't, I don't know shit. I don't know shit. <laughs> I don't know shit. <laughs> that was wild. I was not expecting you to go there with that. <laughs> uh, that's, that's why? Why do you? Uh, why does? Why does it? Why does it? Uh, why does it matter? Like, why does like somebody like why in a why in a perfect world is this is like? I don't know. Why would there not be gay people? Like, why? Why would that? In my perfect world, I wouldn't be like. There would be no gay people. I would be like, there'd be hella bitches, but I wouldn't be like, <laughs> there would be no gay people. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, I don't know. I wouldn't even think of it. It wouldn't even be a thing. Still are, you, know, we still you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Like, I don't know. For me, like, it's not. I don't know. Then you shouldn't be thinking about it now. No, no. Because it's in a perfect world. You said. No, don't try to spin this shit on me. You said in a perfect world. <laughs> this is not no. dark sales, nigga. Oh, yes, shit. You said in a perfect world. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, I see what you're saying. No, but I didn't bring up nothing about no not having gay people there. I'm not. I'm not listening. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm about. See, I, I hey, bro, you trying to? Amen. Hey, bro. Amen. Hey, this Amen. nigga getting caught in dark shells again, bro. <laughs> nah, see, see, I was in there thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. I, I got enough time to go through it and get the bar and then run out. Hey, bro, we gonna wrap it up on that though. <laughs> hey, bro. I appreciate y'all for coming out. Uh, this is your boy, Rock Bill and the Waver. Hey, you have a uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram? Muddy Muscle Productions, yes, sir. On YouTube. Yep, on YouTube. And, so if they go into YouTube and, and search Money Muscle Productions? Money Muscle Productions, yep. Go. Oh. Like, right. I'm up, I'm up uh, I don't know, I got like 28 videos on that bitch right now. I'm moving. Dope. Okay. okay. You got, what about Instagram, social media? I haven't done any of that yet. I mean, shit, I'm just reaching out, you know what I'm saying, getting back into the game. It's all... You know what I mean? I dusted off my equipment because of my son. His ass is doing good shit right now, so he's hitting four million views. Yes, that's yeah. dope. That's hell of good. Your, what's his son's name? And I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what name he goes by right now. From Portland, Oregon? Yeah, he's from Portland. All right, for sure. Make sure y'all go check him out. Bro. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I try to get him on here. Hopefully, we can get somewhere. Maybe one day, we just going to have to schedule something at, at the house and make sure he's there and just, like, yeah, force him to walk in, like... <laughs> Hey, Bye. motherfucker, yeah. Right, right, yeah, right, right, right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, let's do it. So, yeah, he has no excuse. You pop up at the house, the studios, everything's there. So, yeah, he, he come out, wake up, like, oh, yeah, yeah motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Right. Pulled up on your yeah, wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, what about you, Foreign? You got any uh, new projects, anything coming out? Uh, no, I'm sitting back right now. I mean, I'm sitting back and relaxing, kicking back like a full-time fan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's nice to have you back, man. It's been actually it's been kind of nice rocking dolo with just me and YP. We had we've been having fun, low key. <laughs> yeah, man, y'all keep at it, man. As long as y'all stay busy, keep working, man. Right. That's how we keep grow. moving. Absolutely, yeah. uh, we're not gonna stop. This shit ain't gonna stop. It's only gonna get better. When shit starts to like iron out and smooth, and the grind starts to slow down, and we get the house and we get more space, yes. things are gonna become a lot better. I finally get into the point where. Uh, Got the, my trademark for my brand hand for my logo uh, finally turned in, and so like I don't know things are starting to more mellow out. I'm finding myself like oh shit we now you gonna find that little extra free time to just be mm-hmm. moving. You know what I'm saying? So like it's, it's starting it's, hungry. It's uh, it's still it's, it's we getting there, man. So like I said, I appreciate y'all for coming out. Uh, for having no yeah, problem, definitely. man. I'm definitely gonna see you again. Hey, you, I'm in it. Come hey, anytime. Uh, all right, I'm for sure. We got. Uh, I got a. Uh, we got a. Uh, supposed to. We supposed to be having a. I don't know if you guys can come, but 
We're supposed to be having another strip club episode, strip club etiquette episode. We got a. Oh, I'm a fan. We got, we got, uh, we got a we got a little oh, hold on. strip club he, etiquette. He's about yeah. Hey, hold yeah. On. <laughs> you do remember how old I am, right? Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I couldn't tell you the last time I stepped to the strip club. <laughs> really? I'm coming in the row with you. Know, you, know, you, know, you, you, you don't have to. She gonna come. Oh, hopefully, she comes here. I think it's her. I think her name. Uh, I don't think her name. Her name is China. Well, I know. Is she Asian? Asian? Nah, yeah. she's not. She mixed. That was my thing from back in China. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit. He's retarded. He doesn't lie to bro. He ain't like She, 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 <laughs> she beautiful, man. She, I think she's a local dancer. And I, I, oh, I, she's I, from Bowling? Yeah. Oh, and she's okay. what? She's what? Talk she, to me. She's coming in. So, we've already done a couple of these. Okay. Uh, we did, so. Uh, uh, what we, you know what? Vegas, he got posted. So, all right, we were supposed to be ending, but here we go. We gonna spin back real quick. All right, so we started off. Um, uh, we had did a couple episodes uh, with. Uh, so I had an idea of doing this thing called strip club etiquette. Portland, we have the most strip clubs per capita. We have the most strip clubs per like in a town per capita. And so, like, I was like, why not try to like highlight that and kind of make it like. Uh, like a thing, so I had reached out on Instagram to a bunch of different local strippers and stuff like that, and was like, I had the idea of having bringing them on and like talk about like the do's and don'ts of the strip club, like what you guys look for, like and like for for like sometimes girls you try to approach them, they am instantly like get the fuck out of my face, you know what I mean? They'll give me no time of day, you know what I'm saying? Like what makes girls act like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, what makes a girl want to approach a guy and give that guy a dance, even if he ain't got the the nicest shit on or something like that? You know what I mean? Like, what's annoying? What what are pet peeves? Like, just different shit that... And when is this? So the, this we did it. We did one already. We well, did this. Both of y'all are smart. <laughs> yeah, because they was there. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did a Vegas edition. Mm-hmm. So we had this. We had this. Me so when I went to Vegas this last time, I went out there. He was, he, he didn't he have was no trying shirt to pick his hair off. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, when we went to Vegas, we were supposed to do a bunch of different episodes, but this is the only one actually Paul that like, came through. And we had like a, a little bottle, this bottle girl named Tony, and we kind of like be, befriended as we were hanging out at the strip club there when we went to Vegas because we've been there like three different times and. We usually went to one particular strip club, and we had her come on and kind of talk about, like, the the bottle girl side of things, and, like, so have different aspects and shit. So now the idea was to keep doing the strip club etiquette, like, episode, but with different women, you know what I mean? To have different experiences, different stories and right, shit like right. that, and kind of just make it, like, an ongoing, like, thing. And this is supposed to be not this weekend, but it's supposed to be next weekend. Two weekends, yeah, two weekends from now. I I'm should be warning you though. He ain't had no shirt on last time. He what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so no. about that. Um, I was, I, in my she face, was I was, in, a in my her face, hair, her hair was all frizzy. <laughs> <laughs> But they Zoom call me. Right. In my Whatever. Fist, in my fist was oh, in Vegas. Is, this is real. <laughs> hey, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. No, this ain't real. That's not what happened. That is not what happened. No, it's not what happened. He's lying. <laughs> he had a whole bowl across the table. I like the, I like the way you sold it, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what happened. But this is a fun experience. But um, hopefully, I don't want it to be like too many, too many dudes and not enough females. So I asked, asked her if she could bring them. If not, uh, we'll still make make something happen where it's not all uh, too many sticks and not enough chicks, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm always straight because my wife is always here. It's, it's the issue. Yeah, yeah, y'all. Hey, 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 y'all yeah. don't fit in that equation. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, we must wrap this up. We're going to get out of here. Once again, I appreciate y'all for coming out. Thank y'all for your support. Uh, we out this bitch. And it's just like that. Hell no. That's motherfucking they shit. We don't do that shit. We'll make up our own. Uh, that's a million dollar, uh, million dollars worth of game or some shit like that. Killian never say that shit. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like that. And you do know that. All right, we out this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we had to remake that motherfucker. <laughs>